Well, we're by Port Randall Hotel and Casino today, and we're going to go and hit Francis Case. It's uh, going to be late May. The water temps are warming up, about 60 degrees, and uh, the bite's on. Fish are uh, biting really well on a bunch of different techniques, and we're hoping to show you guys a bunch of different stuff that you can do if you come up here. It's uh, it's awesome, it's really diverse. Uh, the smallmouth and walleye are what we're going to be targeting and there's just, uh, I don't know if I've ever been to a place where you can do so many different styles of fishing and actually catch them. So we're going to go try it and um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's an awesome time of year to fish. We're just side scanning uh, the point here and just mapping out where all the rocks are. And then now I'm gonna turn the boat in and just uh, go into the wind for a little easier boat control. Um, I couldn't actually uh, say for sure that I've seen any walleyes there, but we have been catching them on rocky spots. So I think it's a good enough spot to, to try, even, uh, even though they're really hard to see in the rocks, but I did see a lot of structure and now I got it mapped out and I'll be able to follow go exactly where I want with the trolling motor. like these clips because you can change out bottom bounces really fast. And you can take them off easily and they store in your rod locker a lot better. I'm just using a plain hook and half a night crawler, about as simple as it gets. And I'm gonna, for this, I'm only gonna be going about 0.5 to 0.8 miles per hour. If we put on slow death, I'll go a little faster. All right, we're ready to go. Stole my worm. Another one already. Yeah, it does. Head shakes like a smolly. Nope, oh, good walleye. Real good one. Oh, nice. 
a good one. Yeah, it is. Hey, dog, it's fun. <laughs> that was about as quick as possible. <laughs> as soon as it dropped. Nice. It's a good keeper in it. Using bottom bouncers and slow death with a crawler, and pulling anywhere from seven to one point seven to one mile an hour right now. It's uh, the water is in the 60s, so we haven't been going too fast yet. But just uh, the brake lines are pretty steep, and we're just going up and down them until we got a bite, and then uh, we just targeted that depth, nice and nice and easy and straightforward. Uh, so we're looking in that 12 foot range, and we got a couple off of this point and basically now we're just going to go to another one that's just like it and see if there's any sitting there. Healthy, been caught before. Put it right back. The other ones that we found, we found like four more beds over there that were not locked. And then when we got towards the back, like towards where your dad's buddy caught that one, those ones were for sure locked. We caught quite a few of those ones. That one's pretty decent. Oh, it's pretty small. Looked better when it jumped. Oh. Feel decent? No. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, look at that other one falling. <laughs> no. What the? Did it break? Super muscle. Damn. I got a chance at him now. <laughs> I think it was your last hook. That one. Another fun thing to do in the Fort Randall area is uh, use a small jig like this or a tube drop shot. Any of that stuff works really good um, for a smallmouth and uh, any spots you see on shore with rock are usually better than uh, the ones with, with bare or smaller rock. And pretty simple program and you can really catch a lot of fish too doing this. Pretty nice one. Net worthy? Um, Smoke the hair jig. Probably not a three pounder, but fun fish. Fighter. Looked where we wanted him to. And the line didn't break. <laughs> it's a deadly bait out here. Pulled it off of the snag. Yeah, 
that's a little better. Is it? Not much, but better. Nice. They all feel big. Yeah. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it's a touch better. Can't imagine those guys in the big in the bastard that's fishing for a hundred grand and not getting these. Yeah. That'd be rough. Oh. Not that one though. Sweet. A little longer. Just barely skin hooked too. They hit it on the wall. A little better one? Uh, I don't know, I'm just a fighter. Looks pretty healthy. Yeah. That's a pretty one. Yeah, it is. Hold my elbow and shallow a long time. Pretty cool. I'd say that's about the average in here this year. Maybe a little bigger. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. It's looking good. Nosing up to it. Got it. Oh, that's a good one too. Damn. <laughs> Alright, catch it again. on that top side. Yeah, it is. Must be where the eggs are. Yeah, he only wants it when it's on the top. Try the drop shot on him. Yeah, that's fun. Nice dark one. These gotta be all males, huh? Yeah. Nice little dark male off the bed. Look at all the bite marks on him. Yeah. Right back to the bed. Maybe not. Not bad. Quite a few right where I just cast into it looks like.
that's a good dark one. Damn, that's awesome. Probably. Be easier than flipping it. Yeah, definitely. That's the best one yet. <laughs> Jumped right in. That's not a bad one. This is not my line. It's like a giant tube jig head or something weird. That's down in there hooked. Hey, you just cut the line off. Poor guy. Just then, yeah, yeah, probably. Nice mail. Well, our plan to uh, walleye fish for a long time didn't really uh, turn out. We did that for about 45 minutes and uh, caught a few, and then bass fish the whole rest of the time. That was a ton of fun too. Um, anything that we could have just could drag across the bottom, like head rig, tube air jig drop shot all that stuff worked really well we could see a lot of the bass and uh somewhere on bed somewhere just swimming around some uh we didn't even see we we're just you know cast into the the rocky spot so that's a a lot of fun and uh yeah if you want to come and do it you can book a trip with with me thomas larson fishing or uh come on your own stay at the fort randall hotel and casino and uh, you're right there, you're just within, you know, a short 10, 15 minute drive of a uh, ton of ramps on Francis Case or um, below the dam on Pickstown. <laughs>